Okay, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a segment that I call I was a dumb kid. And we've all got kids, or we all were kids, or we all kids and nephews, yada yada. And they do stupid things. I did the same thing. In fact, I was really stupid. So, here's a few stories from what I did. I apologise for the sound. I'm trying something new. Um, this is my camera's mic. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's not so bad. Um, so where do I begin? Let's begin with the hilarious story of boxing match. No, I don't box. That's why it's hilarious. Um, this is back when I was younger. I was about how old was I? Nine or ten, something like that. Um, I should explain family first. I got a younger brother. I got two older brothers and an older sister. Um, basically. One day while we're at home with kids, we used to like fight and mess around. In fact, mine and my brother's fights were pretty brutal. Um, I'll tell you some more stories another time. But this particular one, uh, one of my my second oldest brother, no names, uh, he he came home. I think both brothers. He might have just been in. Anyway, he had some boxing gloves. He thought. What a great idea, let's get the kids boxing. Um, so he comes in, got the boxing gloves. And he says, right, just fight it out. Why not? This will be hilarious. <laughs> Parents are there, it's all managed. It's not like a proper kiddie fight club, anything like that. It's just laugh, get your stress out. Not really thinking about the outcome. So we start boxing. And me and my younger brother, as I said, our fights were pretty brutal on the best of days. So, as we're boxing, I had weak nose. Uh, I'll tell you a story uh, about that another time, too. But basically, I was prone to any pressure on my nose, blood everywhere. It would literally burst. It was gruesome. It looked like I broke something. Always did. Um, so... Uh, brother punches me, blood everywhere, profit stained, blood all down, we're still going. I don't care, I don't even, I barely even feel it. It's not painful, anything like that. It's just moisture on my face. <laughs> so I got blood all down my face, I'm punching in on my brother, we're rolling around, like, it was just so, it looked so horrible. It looked like something Mike Tyson would have done. And I swear, I eventually, obviously, parents are just like, all right, that's enough. You need to stop. You need to stop now. And I stand up, not even realizing there's blood all over my face. Brother stands up. I, obviously, a couple of bruises, not much. It's really funny to us. So our parents are just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then they realize because of my nose. And they're like, oh, couldn't have done that. <laughs> so that's. That's our childhood boxing match. That was hilarious. Now my younger brother does Muay Thai and I wouldn't fight him to save my life. Really. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen some of his, um, his matches and such. They are quite deadly. So, next story. Uh, I'm going to give you three today because the last one is going to be an extra related to this one. But because it's not about me, I'm not count it as one of my stories so it's just me. funny but next story i'm about eight this time and where i used to live uh, to describe the area if you go around the back of my house it leads on to like a, a field um you'd have like a it would go there'd be the field you go down the back area um obviously that's just trash stuff like that goes up to a horse field, which later became houses. Um, but if you go off to the left when you're facing it, um, when you're first going onto the field, there's actually a woods area. 
which is it's not massive it leads to the road easily accessible easily escapable you're not going to get lost lost in there anything like that probably maybe an acre something like that um it's not so bad it's a good place to hang out it's just leading up to the back so we'd have road swing stuff like that on there um but one day me and my friends there's a few of us uh probably four or five of us something like that all decide to go over to this area so we go on and we go deep into it I'm not as i said it's only about naked so to us it was deep to anyone else you can still see the road so it's not a problem so we're going it's to this it's right next to the back and find a sleeping bag now i was going to get the prop to show you exactly what the uh i found look like but unfortunately i haven't got one um but basically with the sleeping bag I found a bread knife about this big um now i kind of questioned myself like was what was on it because was it rust or was it blood i don't really remember it was too long ago but i like to think being that i had the nose bleed since i was about four i recognized blood well enough um so that kind of worries me that I knew that. Now, the creepier thing about it was um, with finding that knife, we grabbed that knife, like took it away from the area. Because the last thing we kind of wanted, especially at that age, we thought um, that was the best idea instead of leaving evidence there, um, get it away. Because if the guy come back, then essentially he's now got his knife right there. Uh, we didn't know when he was due back, you know what I mean? So. And around the sleeping bag, there are name badges. Um, the issue with this is it wasn't one person's name badge multiple times over. It was different name badges. You're talking identification, driver's licenses, passports, different women. All scattered all over the floor. Um, you've got actual name badges like Sainsbury's, Tesco, things like that. Um, with their names on them, obviously Mary, Sue, whatever it says can't really remember uh, but the fact that these were like um the only way to describe it is there was so many he was sleeping um like the duck the rich duck with money all over his bed but instead he seems to creepily have ladies id now nothing was brought up about this which kind of bothers me um there's no history about it, anything like that. I've looked it up. Um, but we actually took the knife back and gave it to one of my friend's mothers, the nearest house at the time. She just says, okay, I'll sort it. Takes the knife away. Never heard anything about it, obviously, because we're kids. Who's going to tell the kids? But there's nothing in the news, nothing anything anywhere. And within a week or so, kids are playing in that area again. And that really bothers me. And I don't really know what was going on with that, but I've got the exact memory of it. It was like a dark blue sleeping bag. Um, as I said, all different kinds of IDs. And like these IDs could have been used to produce, like not only could that could be a lot of missing people, those IDs could have been taken, used to produce fake IDs. Um, the knife was gone, obviously. That was taken to a parent best idea at the time of the age of knowledge so that's the story of what i think was a serial killer's hideout never got mentioned ever again now third story this uh, this one uh i've been told about because it, it was to do with my parents um but i wasn't born yet but i thought i'd share it i've asked about it and got the full story and now i'm bringing it to you because it's a laugh so before i was born parents lived in a house up in the north of england and across the road there was uh, another house which was essentially two flats which apparently they argued like non-stop like upstairs would be very loud downstairs was always getting annoyed because he just wanted to sleep because it's the middle of the night. So, early hours of the morning one day, um, police kicked down my dad's door. Well, my parents' door. Mum's in bed, dad's uh, when he's not 
he wasn't working at the time, and as you, any of you who don't work know, first thing you do, stay up for as long as you like and have fun. So, kick down the door. This is a full SWAT. Uh, pin my dad to the ground, arresting him. Um, and essentially they're charging him on the use of a deadly weapon. Uh, I think that was mainly it. Uh, threatening with a deadly weapon, something like that. Um, my dad is confused out of his bleeding mind. He has no idea what's going on. And then suddenly a policeman out of the 20 leans into the door. Get closer to this because he whispers. He says, guys, I think we got the wrong house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they let him go, apologize, all that. Obviously, they're paying for the bloody door. Um, but it turns out that the guys across the road had got into another argument, something like that. The guy upstairs had an axe in his hand. He had swung at the guy downstairs, attempted murder with an axe, cutting up, like cutting the guy. Luckily, he didn't kill him. But essentially, that meant that my dad was about to be charged with axe murder. Not to mention the guy over the road was an axe murderer. Now this is really funny now. But looking back, how easy was it to really switch that guy? That is just mind blowing. And I'm glad we don't live there now. <laughs> uh, if that's one guy that I don't want, I'm not gonna assume, but I've heard stories of that area. Um, I'll try adding some on when I get them. Um, I'll keep stories coming from that area as I can get them. So, that's my I was a dumb kid stories with a little extra. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit the like button down below. I don't know where it is. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll bring you some more. There's also my art going on. That is me drawing. The music is copyright free music. I've used some of it is um, from my dad. He does some of the music. That's at this music. Um, I'm going to try and get him to do some more because his music is absolutely wicked and I love drawing to it. I love putting my drawings to it. But until then, I've got to keep seeking out the copyright free music. If you have any in mind, let me know. Um, hit it in the comments. I'd love to have some copyright free music. Um, of new and upcoming bands so I can do some art to that that would be awesome but as I said if you like the video hit the like um, thanks for staying so far for my stories hopefully you want to see some more of them and I will see you all in the next video which will probably be an art one